So what you're going to do, hit the bottom two strings, then you're going to play C on the fifth string third fret, and you're going to hammer onto the D on the fifth fret. Think of this, think of beat one as a quarter note, beat two is two eighth notes. And then you're going to go back to the open string or a mute. Then we've got E to F to E down to D. So there's a lot of half step harmonies going on and melodies in this song. Think of these as half steps. The whole song seems to be based on that motive, the motive of notes beside each other or one fret apart. Here, another one. To the next riff, in terms of like jumping around the guitar neck, maybe the, the hardest riff, but it's so much fun to play. So what you're going to do is pedal between this riff and go up to this B note on the seventh fret fourth string, do the riff again. Go to B flat, and go to A. So what we have is three notes right in a row, and it's reminiscent of a blues pattern, but we're not in this key. This would be E blues, we're not in E blues. So it's just a little chromatic melody being played with the pedal. Now you have options here. You can use third finger, second, first, or you could go I use my second on the first two notes and then the first finger on the last note. Or if you do what Tom Morello, the guitarist for Rage Against the Machine, uses his first finger. I usually go between my third and second finger. I'm more comfortable. I get a lot more power using my second finger. I put my first finger behind it. And then I can get a little bit of vibrato on that note to make it pop out even more. Because this part of the song, the drums are really big, the bass is big, everything is big during this part of the song, so you need your notes to really pop. On the main riff, also hammer with your second finger from your first. After the interlude, let's we'll call it an interlude. We'll let the downbeat hit. Down. I'll do that slow. Pick hammer from your first finger to your second covering strings six and five. So you've got a downbeat and then the upbeat of two sixteens, then two sixteens on the next downbeat, eighth note on the upbeat, and then down. And then right back into that riff again. He's going to hit this C power chord. One and two and three and four. You have eighth notes. One and two and three and four. So after the last interlude riff, so you're coming from here, think about it. If you use your first finger, you've got to come back and switch strings. If you use your third finger though, this could be a solution I never thought of. 
is you can drag your third finger back and then you're going to go up and do D fifth fret octave. 